want to try the intro or you want me to still do it? Yes, I do. Cool. Go for yes, it. Yes, I do. Bring your Let's abundance. Go. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Paul and Joe. Coffee with Paul and Joe. Yeah, buddy. Uh, welcome to today's or welcome to this edition. If you have had beliefs or thoughts that you don't have enough, that things are limited, this is the video, the pod, the, the session to watch. Um, so Joe and I are going to go through this conversation again. This is just right off the cuff. I just told Joe what this topic was literally, literally, um, like probably about 45 seconds ago. <laughs> right? Pretty we're much. Pretty this. much. Yeah. And I love when we do that, man. So, uh -huh. um, so Joe question. So today we're going to talk about abundance. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I want to start it off. Like when you hear the word abundance, what comes up for you? Um, wow. Uh, so two things, one thing would be having the opportunity in my life to really switch my mindset from a lot of scarcity, from a lot of fear to more like abundance and possibility has been pretty transformative. Mm. Now the flip side of that is I also have a little bit of a, a almost like a triggered connotation with the word too. Like, as if a lot of the talk around it is connected to a lot of stuff around manifestation. And a lot of it is just a bunch of lip service that has nothing to do with people's real capacity to transform and get what they want in their life. Right. Um, and that being said, the paradox is if we are not consciously thinking about practicing, challenging our mind to be aware of abundance and choose the option of abundance, then we definitely don't get what we want. <laughs> so yeah. we just, I mean, we don't, we don't, we, we get lesser versions where, and that we're willing to settle. Um, so anyway, that, those are the immediate thoughts I have. Yeah. Yeah. That you hit on some positive things, man, because, uh, I was, um, I was, I was thinking that the same thing. It's like, it's lip service. It's yeah. like people are just saying like, Hey, you got to think in abundance. And I'm like, well, what does that really mean for you? Um, because you know, I was, what I was telling Joe before I got on, like briefly before I got on call for the context of this is I noticed that for me, you know, I, I'll do my best to say, Hey, there's abundance. Like there's always enough, but it's like, what am I feeling when I'm in those moments when I'm, when I feel like there's scarcity. And right. I had that, I, I encountered that over the weekend where I was like, you know, I saw, I saw just financially, um, I was like feeling scarce. And my mindset shifted where it was just like, whoa, what the heck is happening right now? Mm -hmm. Like it just, things just didn't make sense. Things were just completely off. Um, and I just felt like my, I got tense, I got tight. And what I recognize, you know, what I recognize is that, wow, man, this is, I need to shift this. And when I shifted it and by, and what I did to do that was I said, well, what is there right now? what is there right now beyond and it's not just financial that's the thing with abundance i feel like when we right. talk abundance it's financial but abundance is in, in, it can be in relation to energy it can be in relation yeah. to time it can be in, in relation to resources right so it got me to look at my mindset was um and especially when we talked language in the last in a couple of videos ago yeah my mindset was like hold up man there's other things here that i can use as a resource or that i have at my disposal that can get me what I need <laughs> or mm -hmm. fulfill me. And I feel like right now, especially with, um, you know, some people think this is like a woo woo age um, or, or like, you know, people are saying things like, Oh, live in light and abundance. And I feel like right. it, it has become a lip service. It's just a word. Right. It's not an emotion or feeling. So when you feel like you get into that, like what, what? How do you how do you stay in a place of abundance, or how do you get to a place of abundance and stay there? Mm -hmm. um, so, the nugget I'll drop is let's let go of the expectation of staying there, mm. right? So, like mm -hmm. that would be like how do I fall wildly in love and stay there my whole life with that person? Well, yeah, you, know, you have to work to create it. It's going to slip away. It's going to come back. It'll explode abundantly. It'll be scarce at times. So I think. Just like anything, I think when the question is, how do I just stay there? We're forgetful of the process of life that, you know, things slip out of our hands, right? And they move forward. So 
how do we get there? I mean, we have to, I think we have to train our mind, first of all, because we are definitely conditioned and I think wired too, based on a lot of the science I'm aware of, to have negativity bias, to feel mm -hmm. scarcity, to gain and attain the resources we need. There's a little part of us that goes, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. Mm -hmm. So we have to be working consciously with our thoughts. Um, mm -hmm. I would ask people to catch their thoughts when they're thinking like, I don't have time or I can't afford this mm. or I don't have the energy when they hear themselves thinking or saying that mm. start with observation. Like a week one could be like, okay, observe At the end of the day, write it down. How many times do you hear it? How many times do you think about it? Yeah. Bring your attention. Then, like a week two would be now not only bring your attention, but see if you can actually hear it and then replace the thought with a more abundant thought. Um, and then I think eventually we just have to believe and take risks and take leaps and see that we're okay. You know, whether it be to a new business venture, whether it be, you know, ending a relationship that's not working anytime that we're afraid of moving forward, it's because we may not be happy with what we have, but we're in scarcity. So we don't think there's enough of what we want out there, or we don't think we have enough of the internal capacity to go get and create what we want. Mm. Ding, uh, ding. I, I mm -hmm. face that now in certain parts of my life, you know, um, money scarcity isn't a huge thing for me, but scarcity of like, of what I want around like love or social connection seems to be a big thing that keeps coming up for me recently too. So, yeah. yeah. Like, how does that come up for you though? Like now yeah. I'll explain how the money comes up for me. Cause that's my right. thing, the financial. How does that come up for you? Mm -hmm. Um, I think about, like I make a lot of new connections when I start thinking about like, well, this person's great. I better make sure that I maintain the connection with them. I better make sure that I do this. I do that. Cause otherwise I have this imagination as if like, they're going to slip away. And if they're not, if they, even if they're not going to slip away, like there's not enough people out there that I really want to connect with that I want to be with, whether this be socially as friends or dating stuff. Right. So I do get that, that like scarcity, that scarcity of, um, wow, are the people out there that I really want? And then, then I also want to connect with, and then there's also this thing of, um, how do I put it? So I can be in social situations mm -hmm. and almost feel too connected and like as if belonging starting to creep in. And I can watch myself kind of either shut down or back away a little bit, like right in the middle of a social connection. And I think that's a scenario where there's still a part of me that doesn't believe, oh man, I can have this type of connection. I can be a part of the group. So it's a, it's a scarcity actually. It really is. You know? right. There's a lot of things around that. Um, hey. mm. Or the other thing is this. I've been way too busy recently because I'm saying yes to everything that comes up because there's scarcity. Like, well, if I don't go to this cool gathering, will it, what will I miss? Right? Yeah. If I don't go to this training, then what, new awareness will I lose and therefore I won't get what I want in life. These are all scarcity based, uh, actions, behaviors, responses. You Dude, know? <laughs> see, see, this is why <laughs> I love that we do this. Cause you, you just, Oh my goodness. To me, that's the, that's it, it's, it's relevant in what you just said is relevant across all forms of scarcity. And then also, also on the abundance side. Yeah. Because I find myself when it comes to finances, like, because what I heard when you were saying, it's like almost like you're in a space and then you come to a wall. Like you come to that space where it's like, okay, I'm here. And then like I go back. And I find that that's the same thing for me. It's like a conditioning because yep. I'll find like, oh, wow. Well, dang, this is coming up. This is coming up. This is coming up. Okay. I better take all this and take all this and take all this. And then I end up getting in a situation that's not, that's really puts me in more scarcity because I didn't have a, I, I, I made not only a scarcity as far as finances, but I made scarcity as far as my time, my resource, I'm right. trying to pack everything in. Right. And the other thing that came to me, right. It, Cause when you said that with the social aspect, I look at it from a financial, like, especially not as much recent, like very recently, but I know last year, all last year, especially when I was going through a tough time, it was like, I want to latch on to everything because I was like, I don't know where it's coming from. Right. And one of the things I want to come back to what you said before was the observance. Yeah. Observing. 
So one of the things that really help, is helping me is observing where did I, where did this even come from? Mm. And I start to look back on like, wow, man, when I was younger, man, I remember my mom saying like, oh man, like cutting back in certain things. Like, yo man, we, we can't afford that right now. Or like, no, nah, that's not, nope. You know, we have to go to this, you know, even though thrift shops are like the thing now, but like back in the day, it was like, you know, listen, we got to go to the thrift shop. We got to do this. And it was like this conditioning of, yeah. well, w- w- well, wait, we don't have enough. Right. And, and that was, and that can be a big thing when it comes to talking about abundance and scarcity, there's conditioning behind it. Mm-hmm. Like if we're going up against something where it's like, okay, I don't feel like I'm enough or this is enough or have you. Okay. Where did that condition come from? And like you said, then let's break it down. Yeah. Let's, or not even break it down, but just like, okay, let's go in here. Get, 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 rewire this. Yeah. Because that's where it's like, um, it's a big piece for, for, I feel like majority of people right now, because we get into this culture where it's like, we got, we we're conditioned to feel that we have to have something mm-hmm. like we got to have like this, got to have that, that new, that thing's new. This is new. That's new. And really it's like, okay, I, I having abundance within that's right. the, that's the overall message I took. And this was, this, this thing came to me in my meditation yesterday. It was like, Oh man, like the abundance is inside, man. Because if I feel this abundance inside and that feeling like, oh, everything I have is right up in here, yeah. all up in this goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, and yeah. You come. Yeah, I'm hearing you, man. And what you are helping me come to the realization of what I want to share with people listening, for those still listening, is actually this. What you nailed was the, the bottom line. A lot of the time, this idea of thinking into abundance and believing in abundance is actually some bullshit and trickery because it's based on external um, resources that are out there. Well, there's an abundant amount of, for example, for me right now, there's an abundant amount of great women to date out there. Well, that's nice, but what about I have abundant capacity to continue to be the man I want to be and therefore attract amazing humans into my life. And I get to be picky and choosy about who I want to spend the time with. So I had a coach who for two years, we recently wrapped up and he just would nail it. If you were ever like, Oh man, I don't have the time for that. Or I don't have the money to spend on that. I don't have the network to do that type of outreach. He would always remind us you're focused on your resources and that's not the way to be focus on your resourcefulness. Mm. So if we want to talk about abundance and scarcity, it's not a matter of just what's out there. It's a matter of what can you cultivate within you. So he would always be like, no, 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 no. It's not about not enough. He's like, what's the skill that you would need to learn to do that? What are the actions you would need to take to get that? So that shift from there aren't enough resources to I am enough resourceful, (laughs) I'm resourceful enough is the bottom line. And and I think that's that next layer beyond just the positive thinking and the abundance thinking, the manifesting. It's like, let's have both because your action and your awareness and your vision will align with what you believe. So the belief is still very important. Mm. but The cultivation of inner resourcefulness and then the skills that are needed to move forward Sometimes the skill is trust that you already have the skill, so relax, you know? <laughs> but sometimes the skill is like, no, Joe's got to go learn and research how does he line up paid speaking gigs? Because right now I'm like, Shh, I don't have the blank for that. I mean, this is something I've been through recently, but yeah. Blessings, brother. Blessings. Oh, man. So happy we got this in, man, because I know I want to make sure that we get the time. But I feel like what, how you just ended it was perfect perfect right it's not about the resources it's about our resourcefulness yeah it's not about our resources it's about our resourcefulness damn that's on point man that's a perfect way to wrap up so yeah, absolutely <laughs> people thanks for tuning in thanks for watching thanks for following us um, we're going to have our information on how you can contact us. And as you heard, Jill's looking for some paid speaking gigs. We both <laughs> so listen, listen, man, this is all resourcefulness. All right. Resourcefulness. <laughs> brother, it rocked the day, Joe. We'll talk all right, man. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Love you, brother. Peace. Good. Peace.